Welcome back. For the first time, there's an official count of the number of people still missing more than two weeks after the deadly Maui wildfires. Maui County has released the names of 388 people and is asking anyone who knows of someone listed as missing but is actually safe to contact authorities. These new developments coming as Maui County is now accusing Hawaiian Electric of negligence in the lead up to the fires. News Nation correspondent Joe Khalil joins us live. And Joe, this lawsuit clearly suggests that county officials are looking for accountability. Yeah, they are. It's a major step toward accountability. The Maui official county is now filing a lawsuit against Hawaiian Electric, alleging that they are responsible for this wildfire sparking that ended up killing at least 115 people and devastating the island there. And the reason the county says is they feel like it was the power lines that Hawaiian Electric owned, they say were not maintained, that ended up uh, falling in the strong winds in Maui and then sparking what ultimately led to the fires. We should clarify that the state is doing an investigation into how this fire started, and they have not yet finished that investigation. Still, the county of Maui not waiting for that investigation to wrap up and filing this lawsuit instead. And on their website, they lay out here part of the reason here. It says, quote, the lawsuit alleges the defendants acted negligently by failing to power down their equipment despite a National Weather Service red flag warning on August 7th. And they go on to say this lawsuit alleges that HECO, the uh, electric company here, energized and downed power lines ignited dry fuel such as grass and brush causing the fires. Now, the reason Hawaiian Electric is in the spotlight at all starts with a video that a man from Lahaina took when the fires first began, and he alleged that his video showed the moment that their power lines did come down and spark in the grass that ultimately led to smoke and then this fire. This is the video that started it all. Oh, this is live right across the street from my house. Now, we, re we did reach out to Hawaiian Electric for comments. So far, we've not heard back from them. A spokesperson for the utility did, however, tell the Associated Press they were disappointed that Maui County chose to file a lawsuit now while this investigation is still ongoing. Nick, back in 2018, the campfire in California, which was, to that point, the deadliest in modern history, killed 85 people, they also found that it was California's biggest electric company, PG&E, whose power lines fell in much the same way, sparking the campfire. There was a $117 million settlement that was filed as a result of the lawsuit, and ultimately PG&E ended up declaring bankruptcy in that case. Nick. Joe, quickly, one more question. Maui County is also making news today in another way, releasing the names of individuals unaccounted for. Yeah, that's right. They had not done this up to this point, when we still had some 800 names, they've whittled it down to 388 people who are now still unaccounted for. The FBI put this list together. So now Maui County is releasing all of those names, thinking that it may help if someone sees a name that is a relative that they have contact with, they can contact now uh, the authorities and say, this person is not missing, they are with us, hoping to bring that list further down to zero. So we'll see how that plays out, Nick. And, Joe, I understand part of the confusion had been multiple agencies have been keeping multiple lists, and hopefully the plan is to combine yeah. those names uh, uh, into one single list. Joe Khalil uh, reporting for us live this afternoon. Joe, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.